Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to use the new decentralized perpetual trading exchange that BeamSwap recently launched called BeamX. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial and let the games be with you. So this is the BeamSwap Twitter account, and if you were not already familiar with what BeamSwap is, it is the DeFi hub on Moonbeam. They have a decentralized exchange automated market maker, it is the most popular one on the Moonbeam network, and their token, the Glint token, is the most held token on Moonbeam as well. And recently we can see on March 2nd, so less than one week ago, BeamSwap went ahead and launched BeamX the beta version of it, which is a decentralized perpetual trading exchange. You can go up to 50x leverage and I'll be showing you exactly how to use it in this video. But keep in mind that BMEX in its beta form is on the Binance Smart Chain testnet. It will go live on the Moonbeam network. It will be the first perpetual decentralized exchange on the Moonbeam network. But for now, we have to navigate through the Binance Smart Chain testnet. And in order to do that, we will need testnet BNB. So let's get into how to get testnet BNB right now. So this is an article written by the BeamSwap team and they make it very easy for us to figure out how to get testnet BNB. So first things first, you will need to add the Binance Smart Chain testnet to your MetaMask wallet. When you go to connect your wallet on the BeamX Exchange website, I will leave the link to it down in the description below. They also have it right here on their Twitter account, the futures beta, you just click on that, it will take you to this exchange. But when you connect your wallet, it will automatically prompt you to add the Binance Smart Chain testnet to your wallet so you don't have to enter it manually. Now in order to claim testnet BNB, click on the link right here from this article, which is the claim page. I will leave the link in the description below as well. But it's right here in this handy article written by the team. Now from here we hit claim from faucet and it's going to take us to an external website which is the bnbchain.org testnet. We need to complete these kapachas. Now what we do is we copy and paste our wallet address right into here and then we hit give me a BNB and now as we see it is going to send us some BNB. So this is the faucet on the Binance Smart Chain testnet and once this goes through, well, it shows up right here, perfect. Let's see if we can get some more. No, so it won't give us more, it's saying we're a robot. But regardless, that is how we get testnet BNB. So now that you have some testnet BNB, you are one step closer to trading on the BeamX exchange. The next step is going to be providing liquidity so that you can actually trade. And you're gonna need to provide liquidity in BLP and we can see BLP is the liquidity provider token. This accrues 70% of the platform's generated fees. Now in order to do this, we will first need to claim some Bitcoin and Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain testnet. You do need BNB in your wallet from the faucet to pay for the transaction fees because BNB is the gas. So after you got your testnet BNB, come on over here to this claim page and then you're gonna wanna hit claim Bitcoin. I just claimed this, so I need to wait for a cooldown. But if this is your first time doing it, just go ahead and process the regular transaction. You're going to need to approve it, and then you can claim it. And also do the same with Ethereum, and you will get Testnet Bitcoin and Testnet Ethereum. Also, you might as well do it with BUSD. So go ahead and grab Bitcoin, Ethereum, and BUSD from this claim page. If you have Testnet BNB in your wallet already, which you should, you will have no problems claiming it. Now, after you have some Bitcoin, ETH, and BUSD in your wallet, on the top of the page, hit the buy button. And now from this page, you are going to need to get some BLP. So just hit the button buy on the BSD testnet, and it will take you to this swap page. So from here, you can see that we can use a plethora of different assets to purchase the BLP. You can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, or BUSD. So depending on which asset you use to purchase, it's gonna go into the specific pool. So if you use Bitcoin to buy the BLP, it will go into the BTC pool. And as you can see on this page, depending on which pool you deposit into, you will save on fees when trading that pair. So fees may vary depending on which asset you use to buy BLP. So let's go ahead right now and use some Bitcoin to purchase the BLP. 
If we use 0.3 BTC, we're going to receive 4,484 BLP tokens. We're going to hit buy here. If this is your first time doing it, you will need to approve the transaction. So just keep in mind, you're going to need to approve. It's just one extra step. Very simple. Just hit approve and confirm it in your MetaMask wallet. Now, after you purchase the BLP, transaction was successful. And we can see here that it goes straight to the BTC pool and it already stakes it automatically for you. All right, so this is all you need to do to trade. So you need BLP, you cannot skip this step. You can also do it with Ethereum, so you might as well buy some BLP with ETH. Just hit buy here. And again, if this is your first time doing it with Ethereum, you will have to approve that transaction before you can actually buy the BLP. But here we go, we just went ahead, transaction is successful, and we can see it automatically goes into the staked amount just updated right now. So we have now successfully completed all of the prep work to trade on the BMEX exchange. It's time to actually get down to business now and place some trades. So come on up to the top tab where it says trade, click on that, it will take you to the advanced trading exchange. Now from here, you have three options. You can swap, so this would be the same exact thing as the Beam Swap exchange, but the only thing is that you can set limit orders and then you can also go long and short and this is with leverage up to 50x as you can see here with this leverage slider. So this is all on the test net, this is not real money, but if this was real money, I would say to stay away from the really high leverage, but of course it is your money at the end of the day, so you can do whatever you wanna do, but this is the slider to change the leverage amount. I will first show you how to swap with a limit order. All right, I'm gonna be using BUSD as my asset to swap with. And keep in mind, on the test net, you can't trade with BNB. So we're gonna be trading Bitcoin and Ethereum only. So let's go ahead and let's buy some BTC with a limit order. So we're gonna go ahead and use 1000 BUSD as our payment, right? That's what we're gonna to use to actually trade for the Bitcoin. Now we want to buy Bitcoin, right now it's $22,030. Let's say we want to buy this Bitcoin at $22,000 exactly. Well, we can go ahead and do that. Just put $22,000 in the price. It's a limit order. So this is the price you're going to purchase at. You will not purchase the Bitcoin any higher than $22,000. First things first, we have to enable the order. So hit enable, accept the terms, and then we will process this transaction like so. And once we have enabled this order, we will be able to place the order. Perfect, it approved. Now all we do is hit create limit order and then we confirm the limit order here. And go ahead and confirm the transaction in your MetaMask wallet. And the order has been submitted. It should show up here in the orders tab. Yep, there we go. So now when the price of Bitcoin comes down to $22,000, the order will go ahead and execute and we will purchase $1,000 worth of BTC. And that's a limit order on a decentralized swap. So this is very handy, but it gets even better because we can also trade with leverage just like we could on a centralized exchange like BitGet, Binance, Bybit, etc. And in order to do that, we wanna select the asset that we wanna trade. We can trade on Bitcoin or Ethereum. Right now, BNB, you can't trade BNB on this exchange yet. So we have the option to trade Bitcoin or Ethereum. Let's go ahead and trade ETH. And now we wanna select the asset that we wanna use as our position, essentially as our collateral. We can choose Bitcoin, Ethereum, or BUSD. Whatever you bought BL BLP with, you can use to trade. All right, so I got some Bitcoin, so let's use Bitcoin. And let's say we want to trade with 0 0.005, which is gonna be $110. And we multiply that by our leverage from the leverage slider here. I'm on 15.2x leverage. You can go ahead and slide the leverage slider to exactly where you want it. And I'm on a market order. They also have limit orders and trigger orders. All right, but for a market order, it's gonna execute at the exact market price. You cannot set a stop loss or take profit order yet. It's only the beta. They will add that feature on the mainnet when it does go live. So we're all set, ready to short Ethereum now. If this is your first time doing it, you will need to enable the ethereum to short so it's just one transaction you'll hit enable right here confirm it in your metamask after you do so you can go ahead and short so now we can see after we press short ethereum it will confirm it for us and now we will hit short 
and we will confirm the trade in our MetaMask wallet and just hit confirm here. So now the transaction just went through and as you see in the positions tab right here, we are short ETH with our position size of $108 and we went ahead and got in at $1,558.76. So if the price of Ethereum goes down from here, our short will be in a profit. If it goes up, we will be at a loss. And like I said, you cannot set a stop loss yet so right now as in the beta this is all you can do let's go ahead and go over a long position example so i will use ethereum as collateral and we will go ahead and long 0.5 ethereum and we'll keep it at 15x leverage and again we will have to approve this first so let's go ahead and hit approve and confirm that in our metamask wallet so now the approval just went through same thing we will hit long eth here and we will go ahead and hit long again confirm this in our metamask wallet and there we go all right now we'll wait for it to open okay so now the ethereum long position is open as we can see here the overall position size is 768 dollars and we got long at 1559 dollars and 57 cents so if the price of ethereum goes up here we will make a profit and it will show us our p l right here where it says net value as you can see with the short right now, it's down 85 cents. So this is how you use a market order. For a limit order, it's going to be pretty much the same exact thing, but we will just select the price that we want to long or short at. All right, so we can go ahead and we can long Ethereum. Same position size of half an ETH. And now we want to select the price that we want to get long at. So let's say we want to wait for $1,500 Ethereum to enter into a long trade. In the price option here, all we would do is enter that amount of $1,500. Now we can hit create limit order, and it's going to set that limit order at $1,500. When the price of ETH comes to that level, it will execute the trade and we will be in that position expecting upside because we're long. So go ahead and confirm that in the MetaMask wallet and it just created in the order section. All right, and we can do the same thing if we wanna go short we would go ahead and place the entry higher. So let's say you wanted to get short at this key high up here at $1,677 on ETH. We can select the asset that we want to trade with. We can use Bitcoin. We can use, let's see if we can use 0 0.1. And we want to short at $1,677, which is this key high here on the chart. Not financial advice, this is a test net tutorial video. So don't just go and copy trade here is what I'm trying to say. And we can go ahead and create the limit order and confirm that in our MetaMask wallet. And there we go, the order has been successfully created. And there we go, it just popped up here. All right, so this is how you use the beta version of the BMX exchange. This will be going live on Moonbeam in a short amount of time. This is gonna be the first decentralized perpetual trading exchange on Moonbeam. Moonbeam, as you guys know, I'm very bullish on that network. I think it has a lot of potential in the future. As Polkadot continues to grow, it is inevitable that Moonbeam, which is one of the number one parachains on Polkadot, it's inevitable that Moonbeam also grows along with Polkadot. So I'm bullish on BeamSwap, bullish on the Glint token, and this BeamX beta right now is very exciting, and it's bringing a lot of attention to Moonbeam, so check it out for yourself.